Do you know if you conceal RM100 ringgit of any Carlsberg product, 47 ringgit goes to alcohol duties? Hi everyone, my name is Norman and the co-founder of Stocks Insights. Today we'll be revealing Carlsberg business model. By the end of the video, you have more insights on a traditional versus modern value chain. And finally, what is Carlsberg's strategy in terms of growth? Let us start with what is our impression on a typical fast-moving consumer goods company. Raw material processing, production and bottling, distribution, and finally, consumption. This business model might work 20 years ago, but in this era, FMCG's company like Carlsberg must adapt it in order to strive. What do they do instead of just distributing? They position themselves as a distributors and retailers business partner. Today, Carlsberg Malaysia is not only selling products to retailer, but also works side by side with retailer to increase the basket size of consumer. This is done by having more collaborations for new product launch, promotions, and even seasonal events. By doing so, Carlsberg is establishing their relationship with the retailers. Take for example if there is a product launch. Ideally, Carlsberg would need to place a product in a strategic location in a retailer store to attract more consumer. If Carlsberg and retailer have a strong business relationship, Carlsberg will be able to influence retailer's decision to have a better shelving of the new product. Better shelving means better visibility for consumer. As you know, there are uncountable products out there and it is not easy to obtain a strategic shelving position for the product launch. Every company will have their own growth drivers and one of the growth drivers for Carlsberg is to go big in premium. It is as simple as buying bigger bottles in the premium category. And as you can see, these are the premium categories for Carlsberg. In fast moving consumer goods industry, we have what we call Trade in, trade up, and trade across. Trade in means stealing a competitor's market share in order to increase our market share. Trade across means converting existing customer consumer to a different product category. For example, converting consumer from a value product to a premium product. And finally, trade up. Trade up means to convert existing customer to buy larger product. It can be from 330 ml can of, of beer to 800 ml bottle of beer. But what is important here is that how do they implement this in a retail store? Well, try to visit any hypermarket and you will most probably see this kind of scenario. Imagine a typical hypermarket aisle. Very often, you see the products are categorized into value section and premium section. The reason this is done is to drive trade across. On the other hand, in value and premium section itself, you will notice how the products are being shelved. It is always or more often from smaller bottles to a bigger bottles. And this is to drive up trade up. Psychologically, Consumer will compare prices if you place the same product with a different size next to each other. And obviously, bigger size product has a better price in terms of price per ml or price per gram. In a nutshell, Carlsberg Malaysia is scaling up their trade across strategy, meaning to convert value to premium products, and then trading this consumer from buying a smaller premium products to a bigger premium products. That is how Carlsberg Malaysia is driving go big in premium.